My name is Walter Babuke. I'm a retired federal agent. Uh, this 5G rollout is not a rollout, it's a deployment. And I say that because the 5G has been described in the media as a weapon system. And it's called an active denial system. And when I first started looking at this when I retired, I said, oh my gosh, what's this all about? So, uh, your cell phones work on a 2.4 to 4 to 6 gigahertz range in the, in the spectrum. This 5G is going to be exponentially larger and is getting closer and closer to the visible wave spectrum and gamma rays and x-rays, which as we all know, you don't want to stand in front of an x-ray machine 24-7. And that's what those cell towers are going to do. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I don't want a transformer sitting on a utility pole in front of my house that has a military capability that causes neurological damage and biological damage. They use it in crowd, crowd control and to, to beam at the, uh, the, weapon, uh, at the weapons and the soldiers across the field. So would you want that on the utility pole in front of your house? No, I don't think so. Now, Israel has ba banned 5G in their schools and, and uh, wireless. France is banning 5G wireless and Wi-Fi in their schools. The city of San Francisco is being sued by Verizon because San Francisco says, we don't want that stuff around. The city of Santa Rosa is taking steps to ban 5G. The state of Hawaii, according to media reports, is trying to ban 5G. So I think that we all have a solemn duty to protect our family and our children. And all the reports I've read say that it really, really impacts children. And some of this, the reports that I've read are hair raising. They say that in three generations, one out of eight children will have DNA and reproductive damage. I'm sorry, one out of eight children will not have DNA and reproductive damage, which means seven out of eight children born will have sufficient damage to the DNA to be unhealthy. So I think the big problem is what are we doing with our future? Now, you, you people should be well aware, Lloyds of London and Swiss Re is not insuring 5G. That puts everybody in a public position at risk for personal liability. Great. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.